Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. We are HAS. Today we will learn about that why instrumentation amplifiers are too much important. Before starting, the two parameters are which you may or may not heard about. The first is DC offset voltage and second is the common mode rejection ratio and short is it is CMRR. The input offset voltage is a parameter of operational amplifier defining the differential voltage required between the inputs of an amplifier spatially and op amp to meet the output zero volt and CMRR is basically a parameter of operational amplifier defining the ability of the device to reject the common mode signals at the input of the operational amplifier or op amp. Now, as you know, the operational amplifier has some important characteristics. These five important characteristics are high voltage gain, number one. Number second is high input impedance. Number three is low output impedance. Number four is low DC offset voltage. Number five is high CMRR. Now, as we see here in this picture or in this, that these three resistors are R1, R gain and R1, which means that these resistors and this resistor have same value. So that's why they are given the name of R1. These three resistors are used to increase CMRR because we know that CMRR is actually the ratio of the common mode gain and two differential mode gain. These three resistors increase the common mode gain and they reduces the differential mode gain. It results increasing the CMRR and these two operational amplifiers at the start one they are used as a buffer to increase the input impedance which is very high whereas our conventional amplifier has only two of these five characteristics which i have told you already about operational amplifier that are usually the low output impedance and second the low output offset voltage that's why instrumentation amplifiers are better and important as well. Other is our instrumentation amplifier circuit and the output depends upon the following resistors and voltage present in the or you can say in this relation. Usually R gain here is used as a variable resistor to change the output voltage. If we see here in the ORCAT, we have given V2 is equals to 0 volt or it means that it is ground. Now we are only with V1 which will enhanced or which will be enhanced. See what it does. We have C or we are running the piece spice. It's heavy. It's taking some time. come on so here we see that that the 10 millivolt signal is enhanced to 60 millivolt which is more than we have ever achieved with BGT and JFET if you see the first video which we have made about the common amateur that is this one if we run it you will see that it is might seem bigger but if you count the boxes it's not this is green that is 10 millivolt 20 30 40 and 42 millivolt that is the last one whereas in instrumentation amplifier it has given us 60 millivolt if we run jfet this one run p spice we see that it's even giving us below 40 millivolt all right so our instrumentation amplifier is better in this regard 
let's make our circuit again all right new project name it whatever you like i will name it the last one now i will make it again for you the last one all right now our components that is us741 ul place them right here we need our voltage source that are like voltage for dc's vdc place them here now value them they are 9 volts and as well 9 volts this is the ground place wire join the components now copy it paste it here mirror it vertically now again copy it here now our voltage source that is v sinusoidal source Place it here. Now it's time to connect our resistors. Place one here, second here, and third here. Join them again with the help of place wire. R one, R two, R three. like this voltage source with the one terminal now again the resistors place wire to join them r1 with r4 R4 with the first terminal R5 and now R5 to the second terminal like this now be spice ground all right now just value it we offset 0 frequency 100 hertz and we amplitude is 10 milli volt resistance that is 25k second r2 it's 10k r3 it will be of 25k r4 
again 10k r5 again 10k r6 again 10k r7 again 10k I guess we have completed our circuit now voltage props here and at the input terminal and at the output terminal like this and like this now simulation settings again edit simulation profile run to time change it it's 100 milliseconds and maximum step size it's 100 microsecond we haven't placed our ground here all right let's place it now now run it yeah here it is that's all for today thank you very much for watching allah peace Guys, don't forget to subscribe down below and also give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below. The darkness.